No, not yet. Oh, well, chilly this morning. It's not quite diesel heater weather yet, though. I'm here in a parking lot in the Rocky Mountains. I'm going to do a summit today. I'm going to get the fat bike out for this one as well. But before I go, i got to take care of business here in the van. I'm going to get the crock pot out, make up some enchiladas. Because this is easily the fanciest gourmet cooking show on YouTube, I know you guys are expecting nothing but the best out of the back of a minivan. But I decided not to bother downloading the recipe. I just forgot about that, left it there. But I did get all the ingredients. How hard could it be? I'm going to cook up the the ground beef first and mix in everything i got some cilantro salsa black beans i'll have to do some extreme bean rinsing this morning in the creek and probably again tonight after this hike and uh, i got some onion green pepper corn a jalapeno and some tortillas i'll just have to layer everything up in the crock pot and i know you guys just love my pronunciation on everything where am I actually? Well, I'm uh, south of Kananaskis and I'm going to head for Mount McPhail today. This is one of the few summits in the area that I can actually fly a drone on. And uh, I think tomorrow I might do another summit, uh, Mount Galatee, and that's, that's in the park. So you can kiss the drone goodbye. Okay, my beef is cooked. I drained off the fat. I'm just going to dump everything in now, mix it up, and we'll almost be on our way. I'm not going to add any extra spices or seasonings to that. I think that sauce had it all. Um, so now I'm just going to layer it all up in here like a enchilada lasagna. be the last layer on here I don't think it's gonna need a whole lot of time because the meats already cooked I'm gonna give it three hours on low and that should be enough for the flavors to uh, develop all right I'm gonna head out now I don't know how far I'll be able to ride my bike on this one but there's only one way to find out and I still don't have a phone I'm gonna bring along my tablet though it's got built-in GPS and it should help me out a wee bit The trail is really starting to dwindle now. I don't know how much further I can bring my bike, but uh, it's about 15 kilometers total one way. And uh, I've already cut that in half, so the bike has really helped me out a lot today. I think these are soap berries, and the bears really like them, but they, uh, they taste like their name. And they must be really high in fiber too. I did not know I'd be able to bike 90% of the way there, so I just have to hike up that. And there's the summit, not too far to go now. Oh, my bike is hidden, it's time to start hiking, and this might be the end of the commentary on this hike. My uh, windscreen mic is not compatible with my GoPro, so cue up the music, Foresty Forest. Got some brief shelter from the wind here. You can see in this direction, that's part of the GDMBR. It leads down to Elkford and Sparwood. Lots of coal mining in that area. Then in that direction, it leads over Elk Pass and all the way up to Banff.
All right, the time has finally come. The suspense is killing me. How did these uh, enchiladas turn out? I think this recipe is a big hit. I'd do it again. I really like the sauce and everything. It's great. It's a good thing I got it on video to uh, document the process. Well, that was another good summit today. Done lots of those this year. But I'm going to put on my pajamas and go to bed. Try to get up early tomorrow and summit Mount Galatee. But it's going to start getting cold here soon. I don't know what I'm going to do this winter yet. I spent the majority of the last one in Canmore. But they've really cracked down on vehicle dwelling there. And it's not much better to the west in the Squamish, Pemberton, Lillooet area. But uh, maybe I'll just keep driving around like I have been. I was thinking it would be nice to uh, go down to the States and visit Death Valley and all that. But who knows? if that's going to be an option in this uh, current situation that we're in. <laughs> Cold crock pot leftovers, the breakfast of champions. Well, here we go again. I'm trying to get as many summits in as I can before the first big snowstorm hits. All it takes is one big dump and a lot of these routes become inaccessible for the year. I did hike this area last winter though. I did the fortress summit. So if you want to see uh, what this area looks like under all the snow cover, you can take a look at that video. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a good day. I can already hear the wind blowing though, so I might have to cue up that music again. <laughs> That's a wrap on another episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support and generosity. You guys are really making this happen. And Humpty Dumpty's pretty much got all his pieces back together again. So I'll keep cranking out these videos and I'll see you in the next one.